today to talk about our alfalfa and bermuda grass study here in Headland at the Wiregrass Research Station. So, we established this study last year and this is our first year of data collection. Uh, here we have six paddocks, each one of them is 1.8 acres and uh, this is only rain fed, we don't irrigate this area. So, the preparation of this area started last September uh, when the existing Bermuda grass field was cut for hay. Here we have a mix of Chifton 85 and Russell Bermuda and uh, after it was cut for hay, uh, we turned animals in to clean up and uh, to get to a two to three inch stubble high uh, before we plant alfalfa. So in late October, we planted alfalfa using a no-till drill and uh, a seeding rate of 15 pounds per acre with a row spacing of 14 inches. Here we are using Bulldog 805 variety and uh, there are a lot of uh, other varieties that uh, people could uh, choose from to use in South US but um, and including of uh, varieties that have Roundup Ready uh, genes which facilitates the weed uh, control weed management uh, of broadleaf weeds but uh, so on this case Bulldog is not one of those and uh, we are more limited on the options that we have to control uh, broadleaf weeds here. Um, at planting a light rate of Roundup Ready, uh, Roundup sorry, was used uh, as recommended to suppress the grass and control emerged uh, weeds. Uh, an initial soil testing was done before we planted alfalfa just to uh, make sure uh, we applied the lime needed and also to get the recommendations for potassium and uh, phosphorus for the area. So when you are planting alfalfa, uh, soil sampling uh, needs to be conducted for the surface which is 0 to 6 inches depth and for the uh, subsurface, which is around uh, 6 to 12 inch depth. And this extra sampling is crucial when you are planting alfalfa because uh, its roots go deep on the soil profile and it requires pH to be at least 5.5 on uh, that depth to be able to use the nutrients that are there and to establish well your stand. So, for alfalfa, it's also important to uh, apply borum and molybdenum at planting because uh, those guarantee uh, proper conditions for uh, nitrogen fixation. The paddocks have been scouted weekly for insects and when necessary, we applied Mustang Max uh, to control insects. Um, for the fertilization management here, we are applying 200 pounds of potassium uh, per acre per year is split in three applications and so all the nitrogen that the Bermuda grass is getting is from alfalfa fixing nitrogen on this system. In this area we have three different managements being used. One is cutting for hay or baleage, another is grazing and a third one is a dual purpose uh, management, which means that we cut or graze those paddocks depending on the time of the year. Uh, for paddocks that we cut for hay, we follow the recommendations of cutting every 20, uh, 28 to 35 days uh, to 4 inches stubble high. And we have been baling that material uh, for baleage. Uh, so the way that we do, we cut the, material, uh, the, the paddocks in the afternoon and we bale on the next morning when the material is around 40 to 60% moisture. Then on paddocks that we, are, uh, we have animals grazing, we are using rotational grazing and uh, so we split these paddocks in four strips. As you can see, we are using fencing, uh, temporary fencing here. So they were uh, just to make sure that we had those little strips uh, inside each uh, paddock. And we rotate animals every seven days uh, for the following strip. 